Hi folks, it's Carol Lee with Coaching with Carol Lee. Um, okay, I was going to do a Facebook Live tonight, but I don't know what happened. I didn't see the button on my thing, so maybe you can't do it on business pages. I don't know, but I will look into that probably tonight or tomorrow um, and get myself a little educated about it, and then um, if I can do it, I'll try again. And speaking of education, guess what I'm going to be talking about tonight? The title I have decided on for this little segment is called, I have to read it off my notes because I forgot what, how I put it, but what, what else have you got going on? How about that? And then also known as Adult Homeschooling 101. That's what I want to talk about today self-education okay um i was just talking to my son about this um but no matter what happens in your life let's say you've recently gotten divorced um your husband wife died uh, maybe you know you're in an abusive relationship you lost your or you're stuck in a job we'll say that you really don't like or you feel stuck you know, you might be working, I don't know, I'm going to say McDonald's just because of, I don't know why. But, um, you know, maybe you feel stuck. You know, it's hard to leave one place and go on to another, especially if you don't have education, if you don't, you know, have money, stuff like that. Um, if you're in an abusive relationship, you might kind of be stuck in that relationship so you have the finances to leave or figure out how to leave. And, um, and that's something I'm going to be talking about. But either way, no matter what goes on, unless you're a little kid because they can't really understand this, and then when you're older, you might have some old hurts because of it you have to deal with. But no matter what happens, you have two choices. Number one, you can be sad, angry, depressed, you know, oh, poor me, my life is awful, you know, pardon me for itching my nose. I'm always itching my nose. I must have allergies. <coughs> Um, I think I do, but years ago, the doctor said I don't. Okay, so anyway, so you have two choices, right? You can be, you know, you can let it ruin your life. You know, you can pretty much, like, stop living because this happened. Or you can go the other way, and you can say, you know what? That is not me. That's not who I am. It's just an event that happened. Yeah, it crushed me. It was awful whatever, but I am going to keep on living, rise above, you know. Um, why do I always say, you know, because that's how I am. Okay, so um, so either way, if you're stuck somewhere, you can still move forward. Um, at least start self-educating yourself. You know, if you're in a, a relationship that's not good, if it's a toxic relationship, or if you've got a child or spouse or something with bipolar or a wayward teenager you know um start learning about that how to deal with it whatever you know to make things more positive instead of dwelling on the negative and then you know as years go on and you come out of it you know you you're dealing with it whatever you could maybe even turn around and help someone else that could be a whole new career for you or a new volunteer opportunity. Um, you know, so educating yourself on that kind of stuff. Um, and you've got to think, you know, or even if you're just doing, like, you know, every morning I do, like, um, I say this in every single video, but it's true. Um, listen to some motivational speakers. Just go on YouTube and start, put in motivational speaker, put in funny people or something to brighten your day, make it more positive, um, you know, and, um, and you probably heard this a million times, probably from me and a million other people, but what you think about is what you attract, you know, so if you start, say, um, okay, so I, like, I wanted to be a life coach, I figure I've got so much experience, I've got a lot of jobs that had stuff to do with it, but, um, to get certified, it's extremely expensive, usually in the thousands of dollars. But you don't have to be certified to be a coach. 
So I can actually practice and not be certified, but I want to be certified. So um, in the meantime, I've been taking every free, they have a lot of free coaching things. Everybody's got their introductory, you know, they give you little pieces. And oh, if you want to take our full course, um, right now, actually, I'm starting my coaching, I think, within the next couple of weeks. I've got it pretty much all mapped out. Um, you know, I got a scholarship for part of it, and then I got to pay the rest. So just got to come up with a couple hundred more dollars. So anyways, with that. So there is an online, I mean, there is tons and tons of coaching things. There's tons of the motivational speakers. I get on there, I can type in depression and listen to doctors talking about depression. You know, people that are at... um different events speaking um you know so you're getting firsthand knowledge right there on youtube or wherever you choose to um you know you can look at articles online um okay you got youtube articles online facebook groups like i said if you've got somebody um you know that has mental illness there are facebook pages for that dealing with you know your spouse, your kid, whatever, with mental illness. There's um, Facebook groups for abused people, for divorced people, widowed people. You know, get on there and learn from them. You know, how they're dealing with things and what makes them feel good or, you know. Um, and again, if that's a career choice you want. You know, if you do want to be a counselor or a coach, whatever, you want to learn about all these different aspects of... Um, humanity of people um another good thing books this is only a very very small amount of my books very small i actually i think i might have told this story in another video maybe not i don't know i talk all the time so who knows wh who i talk to where but um i have tons and tons and tons of books i got some over here i got some over there i got some in the bedroom got some in the other room um i've always just been one of these self-help books stuff like that but, you know, if I need to know about something, I've got references all over the place, you know. So, um, you know, if you want to learn about something, go to your library, um, get an ebook if you have Kindle on your phone or something. And now I know our library, I haven't tried it yet, but you can actually download, borrow books on your Kindle and somehow I guess it disappears after a couple of weeks. I don't know. I haven't really tried it. But um, so you can go and buy books on Amazon, download them to your Kindle or get books at your library. It's free. Read it in a couple of weeks. Take notes on whatever you want to remember. Um, I got to move my speaking of notes because I can't remember the names of these. Oops. They're on this little rolly cart, right? Um, I couldn't remember the names of these things. OK. And one last thing really quick. Um, free online school. Um, there's a place called Course C O U R S E R A Coursera Ed X E D. I think it's I think the E D was in small letters. The X is in big letters. Um, there's a couple others. I didn't write them all down. Even Harvard supposedly has some. I did get on their website because I was looking. Um, I just took at Coursera. I took their positive psychology. I've taken psychology before and child psychology, but, you know, I thought that sounded like a cool thing. And it was free. Um, if I want the certificate saying I took the course, I have to take the test and pay like 45 bucks. But I didn't really care. To me, I just wanted the information. I wanted to write the notes and, you know, um, you know, disseminate it all my way. So, um... Anyway, so no matter where you are in life, you could be moving on towards um, your future. You know, it could be, oh, I was going to say about the more you um, think about things and proclaim things, such as say if you, um, I'm trying to think, okay, being a coach. Okay, no, no, let's not even use coach. I don't know. Something else. We'll say you want to be a nurse, but you really don't have the money right now, or you're in a relationship that you have to wait to get out, whatever. 
but you want to start learning about it. What's it like to be a nurse and things about what do nurses have to know? A lot of stuff, right? I bet you you can find a few books about, you know, the anatomy. You know, start learning that kind of stuff now, you know? Um, sometimes there's even, um, oh, don't mind my hair. No, sometimes there's even schools, and I think Empire State College here in New York does it, but I'd have to get back on and look. I know I checked into it once, but they'll take your previous experience and I think there's some that you can even like test out of certain things. So if you've already learned it, you might be able to skip out on half the stuff to get a degree. And if not, at least, hey, you'll probably be able to ace everything because you've already been learning while you're hanging out. You know, um, if you're in, a, in an abusive relationship or if you've been through one and you're feeling really down and, you know, whatever, the first thing you might need to do is get yourself back in a more positive frame of mind. And that's where those um, speakers come in. You know, um, yeah, my motivational speakers, inspirational speakers. You know, if you um, are a Christian, there's a ton more you could, you know, there's Graham Cook, Bill Johnson. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. John, John Paul Jackson. And it, it goes on, Joyce Myers, whoever, you know, whoever you like. They, they all have different styles. Some I love listening to and others just something I don't, don't get into it. Um, but those are all ways to start getting yourself motivated and feeling good and ready to go. And then the more you're positive, the more things around you get positive. You know, if you're, if you get on YouTube or somewhere, read books to learn coaching or something all of a sudden you'll find I mean I've always had people attracted to me it's like they always come to me with their issues whatever you want to call them so anyways you just start seeing like noticing things more that have to do with that and things seem to be attracted to you more you know maybe if you want to be a welder and I don't want to use the welder I don't know. all right let's say a plumber I've learned a lot on YouTube about plumbing <laughs> and other things around my house. That's how I fix things. I go on YouTube because I ain't got no one to fix it but me. So I go on YouTube. So say if you want to be a plumber, you could actually go on YouTube and, you know, how do you fix a leak in your toilet? How do you, blah, blah, how do you, blah, 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 blah. start learning it all. And then you become, you know, possibly you could ghost to somebody or to a hardware store. Get a job there too. You know, learn on YouTube, start working in the hardware store, seeing what everything looks like. Blah, blah. You'd be surprised. Experience goes a lot further than college education sometimes. So, you know, any way you can. Oh, another one, volunteering. That's another great way. You know, if you want to know, if you say, gee, I think I want to um, work with people with um, mental disability, you know, but all right think that's what I want to do, but I don't know. You could probably call some organization around your town and say, hey, you know, I'd like to volunteer. You know, I'm thinking about a career in this and I just want to kind of test drive it. You know, see where it goes. You know, sometimes places are, you know, schools, whatever, they'd be happy for the extra help. Um, and one of them I was thinking the other day um, for kids to get a little bit of like experience just doing whatever. Um, when I was a Girl Scout leader um, for many years, but one or two years, my assistant leader, her daughter, who was a junior, senior, something, she came in and like volunteered to help us with the girls. I mean, she was a Girl Scout herself, but older. And, you know, she came in and volunteered and helped with the kids. Now, that looks great on a resume, you know. So, anyways, so I've always been one. I always want to learn, learn, learn. Even, um, like, sometimes trying to read a fiction book, I just can't. And honestly, even all these books, I haven't read them all, you know. I mean, well, the journals of the self I have because I had a journal writing class. But, you know, some of these I've just skimmed through. Some I've read. 
you know, you know, some are really easy to read the heading. You know, what, what do I want to know right now? Okay, that's what I want to read. You know, other ones you want to read the whole book right now. So, anyways, that was my thing for today. And sorry I couldn't do it Facebook Live. I really want to try that. Oh, well. Bye.